University of Florida launching a statewide media blitz defending its controversial Blueberry program. The PR campaign comes after I-Team investigator Kylie McGivern uncovered the university's deals with Mexican farms. Kylie? Wendy, the university blasted out this press release last week defending its work with those Mexican farms. Now, those farms compete directly against Florida growers. The I-Team also found the public university hired a PR and marketing firm for thousands of dollars. The University of Florida pumping out this press release to nearly 250 news organizations promoting its blueberry breeding program. The Goodwill PR campaign coming just weeks after an I-Team report uncovered UF developed new types of blueberries to help Florida farmers make a living. But then the public university sold the rights to grow those same blueberries to foreign farms, including the competition in Mexico. Congressman Darren Soto now demanding changes to protect Florida farmers. So we want to make sure uh, after uh, ABC did this story uh, locally that uh, we were meeting with UF to work on these concerns. The I-Team also discovered the university's taxpayer-funded lab that breeds blueberries hired a California-based PR company just two weeks ago for $3,500. A spokesman says the university pays the PR firm to monitor news coverage and send news releases. That's in addition to UF's in-house public relations offices. Soto says he wants an import ban on all foreign UF blueberries during Florida's growing season. I'd like to get the best deal for our blueberry growers we could here in Florida. And in response to our story, the University of Florida has said they do look out for Florida farmers, but so far, UF only bans some blueberry imports from Peru during Florida's growing season, not Mexico.